You know, one of the downsides of the Home Shopping Channel is that a lot of people are baking their own bread these days. Oh, sure, the bread machines can knead the dough and bake the bread, but can they slice it? No. And just ripping the loaf in half or biting the end off is not acceptable if you have company. <laughs> so what do you do? Well, I say don't have company, but Bernice says otherwise. So you do what your ancestors did. You get out your auto harp. Now, the auto harp is a traditional instrument, uh, very popular for the first two weeks of August in 1963. It looks like somebody mated a banjo and a washboard, but it sounds like they mated a couple of cats. Okay, for my purposes, I hacked the back out of this unit. You might wonder how I could do that to a valuable instrument, but hey, it's Harold's. Anyway, we don't need an instrument. We need a tool. You might say this is the greatest thing since... Man, don't you hate when that happens? <laughs> and for my next number, here's a little thing by Brad. If the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. You know, other than about a week in October, I basically did nothing last year, and I, and I was fine with that. But even though I was doing nothing, my mind was still thinking about stuff. Stuff that I hadn't done and should have. Stuff that I had done and shouldn't have. But mainly it was coming up with a lot more evidence that as far as I'm concerned proves that I'm right and almost everybody else is wrong. And that was fine too, but where I made my mistake uh, was that I shared all that with my friends and especially my wife. And before you knew it, they were suggesting that I gather up all those opinions and stories and uh, take them on the road where they belong. I even went, uh, went to see my doctor to make sure I was healthy enough to tour again, and he gave me the go-ahead. He said I probably wouldn't get sick on the road, but even if I did, he'd prefer I was thousands of miles away when it happened. So I put together a brand new show, and I'm calling it uh, I'm Not Old, I'm Ripe. And we're going to be doing 20, about 25 cities, starting in St. Pete's, Florida on March the 30th, and we're going to end up in the middle of May somewhere out west. Uh, it's basically a, a lodge meeting, and if you want to find out where I'm going to be and when I'm going to be there, go to redgreen.com, click on the city that's nearest to you. I'm hoping you can all make it, or I'm hoping a few of you can make it. I think it's going to be uh, my best show yet, and if you saw the first two, you know that's certainly doable. So uh, looking forward to a successful tour. Otherwise, my friends and my wife are going to look like idiots. Uh, until then, uh, I hope, I'm hoping to see you uh, at the lodge meeting. And uh, in meanwhile, keep your stick on the ice.